Wang said, so far, 200 tons of sodium cyanide has been collected and removed from the site, and the focus will now shift to metallic sodium and magnesium. Over 3,000 tons of polluted water from the core blast area have been removed from the area and treated. The water supply was cut off immediately after the explosions to ensure that tap water remained unaffected and the sewage pipes were blocked. The vice mayor confirmed that contamination at the core blast area is now under control and the surrounding area is safe. According to the City Environment Monitoring Center, cyanide levels in samples from rivers and offshore were below toxic levels. Air quality in the area is no different from that reported across the municipality. The center also dismissed the huge number of dead fish along the banks of the Haihe River to oxygen deficiency rather than poisoning. Head of Binhai New District Government Jiang Yong said Tianjin has launched a safety audit across 275 enterprises dealing with dangerous chemicals. Seventy of the enterprises inspected were found to have potential safety risks and have had their operations suspended. The blasts have affected 17,000 households to varying degrees, leaving at least 6,300 in temporary housing. Almost all of those people have now left. Migrant workers were given payments to help them go home, and others have turned to their relatives. Only around 100 people are still staying in a temporary shelter now.